right, welcome back everybody, and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Almost there, a few more sleeps. <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing a cute little uh, folk art Santa, and it's my own drawing. So for all you fantastic um, subscribers to my membership and Patreon, uh, it is already there for you and you just have to go into the um, community page in YouTube and you'll find the link there. If you're interested, there's links down below for the Patreon and the YouTube uh, in the description below. And uh, both are the same. There's no difference in the two uh, memberships as far as Patreon and YouTube. It's just that I had to make a Patreon for those that are unable to see it on their device on YouTube. Hey, Devin! Uh, folk art's really cute. I've always enjoyed <laughs> doing folk art. They're so cute. They're and they're simple to do. Um, so if you want, you can. Like um, Devin asked if she could just cut it out and put it on her page. By all means, yeah. It's mixed media, and you can do whatever you want. <laughs> as long as you put it down on your page with matte medium, you should be fine. We're going to paint over it and put layers on it and whatever else we can throw on it. We'll be doing that today. Um, I don't have an actual plan for what is going to be going on this. I just want it to be mixed media. So a lot of times the way I work is as I go, I get ideas. It's kind of intuitive. So you do the same or you can watch me do the whole thing and then... Um, get some ideas from that and try yours later, or you can paint along with me. So I'm going to put it on this um, file folder, but I'm also uh, going to put some uh, scrapbook paper on this too. I use my medium and then I... Oh, awesome. Yep, that's fine, Devin. It'll work great. So I want a background. Now you can paint your old background, whatever you want to do. Um, I want it more wintry, so I already had this Christmas paper from my stash, and like all of us, we have a huge amount of stash. <laughs> and if you don't, you're doing good. Because <laughs> most of us do. It's hard to use our, our uh, paper. So, what I'm going to do with this eventually is put it into my file folder. But I'm going to use it as a belly band, this way. So that's why I made it kind of thin, long and thin. So it's going to be actually cut down to about here. This part will stick out past. But I wanted it to, to be a belly band in my December folder. So you can do whatever you want with yours. You can make a full background on it. Um, like I did with this one. This was a uh, background that I had in my stash from a painting last year that I didn't finish. So I put these snowmen on it. There's a, an actual um, video for this one too. And uh, you can check on that. I think it was a couple weeks back. Um, so I think what I, I, I've been looking through my stash of Christmas papers. I have a ton. <laughs> so I thought, well, why not put his whole outfit in a paper? So I have these papers here. Um, and I thought, well, they might work. There's like this one here. I think this is too big a print for his body, so I'm not going to use that one. But you can go through your papers. It doesn't have to be Christmassy. It could have something else on it, but it's a nice color. Oh, awesome, Devin. Um, I got this because I might use some of this in it. I don't know yet, but I liked it. Um, and then there's the background, too. 
And then these are really cute too. This was from um, Stamp Stamparia. I really love these. You could actually cut out, like this is Santa's house, North Pole. You could cut these out and put them in here too if you wanted to. If you didn't want the tree, it'd be cute to cut this out and have him holding this. Or get ideas from from this type of scrapbook paper. He could be holding a candy cane. Uh, maybe he's got a bird on somewhere. And then it's got the scrapbook paper on the back. This is a really cute set. I really like this one. And then this one, I thought, this is a beautiful... Um, you can almost see the pattern texture in this. And this would make a really nice cloak too. It's got a bit of blue, it's the golds, and it would look really pretty against the blue background. And that's what I'm thinking of also. Um, if you want to stick with uh, more traditional, like this, the golds, reds, and greens, you can do that too. This would actually be really cute. Um, but I think it's a bit too similar to his beard, as his beard has a lot of curly cues. So, I think I'll use this. That's what I do normally, is I go through, look at a bunch of papers, get them all together, start looking through them, look... Um, with the background, what colors you like to do, and then I, um, you just basically try things out until you see something you really like. So I really like the blue in this section, so I think I'm going to probably uh, use that area. And what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put a piece of tracing paper down and I'm just going to trace out the shape of his body not his head though although I could yeah I think I will I'll just do the whole um, body with his head I'm not going to do the hat the hat can be something different too um, I like using a pen to do the tracing. I've got a couple copies of this tracing. It's a good idea to take a couple. Hey Dorothy! Dorothy, there's a traceable for this if you want it. It's in the community page, but you have to go in your other account because your, your other account is what is um, the membership. So I'm just gonna I just want this part, so I'm just going to go right down and cut out this part of And we can always add stuff on top of this. This is the nice thing about it. Actually, I should just cut this part out. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm thinking of the... Um, I'm going to make another arm, this part. So actually, I'm going to... Bring this down like that. Okay, that's all I need on that. I'm going to just move it over and I'm going to make this arm separate for another piece. Just in case I want to put it over top of his beard. Uh, maybe his beard's going to have something, um, another color. Okay, and then just cut those out. There you go, Dot. Now you can go in the community page and the memberships and you'll see a link for this um, drawing. I'm just cutting it out.
Now if you don't want to use scrapbook paper or if you don't have any scrapbook paper, or if you see something in a book, like a magazine, a pattern in a magazine, use that. There's always, always ways of doing this. Oh, shoot. No. There. I just went to update. Ah, no. had collected it. Oh, awesome, Dot. It's doing that repeating thing seems back now. Yeah, my um, computer was going to update and I just stopped it. Is it okay now? It says excellent condition, so hopefully. <laughs> Never know. Okay, I just want to make sure I have enough room. So it's going to go like here. And I'm going to put it on with matte medium gel. And a brush. Okay, must have been that then. I know a lot of people have been having problems with um, YouTube lately. For some reason, I don't know. They must be doing something. Updating a or changing of something because there's a lot of people complaining. Get another piece of paper or Now you could also use fabric. Just think outside the box. The uh, way I look at it is what has pattern. If it has pattern and if it's uh, fairly flat, you can use it. Okay. And remember his face is going in here. Now, I don't want to put the arm on yet because I'm going to probably uh, do the beard first. I'm still thinking of how I want to do that. Um, I think what I'm going to do though is put this back on. Well, looks like it. Maybe that bridge is detached like that. Yep. And then like that. There. Okay. So there's, I think I'm going to put some tape on it just in case I have to reposition it. Okay, I found my paper for the body. Awesome. <laughs> you could even, would be cute too. Um, just use um, a book page and then jelly print over top of it. Give it some um, swirls in it or paisley or whatever. There's another way you could do it. 
sure it's on right. Okay. Now I'm going to put that face in while I still can. <laughs> um, so that's basically where it needs to be. So I'm going to put another piece of paper in the corners so it stays in position. And then I can slip that piece of... Where did I put it? There it is and do the face because the face will be painted all right get the same hey Brenda I'm using a Robin McClendon Italian text page that I jelly printed over Awesome! That'll look gorgeous. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put in his eyebrows, his eyes, some of the wrinkles. It's a fairly easy um, drawing also, so don't get um, nervous about doing this. And put his mustache in where it is on the face. And his lip. And that'll tell you approximately where I'm going to put his mitt here too. I'll probably make a mitt on its own and I'm just going to put a few of these curly cues in showing me where they end. I'm not going to put the whole thing in just basically the outline of, of uh, some of these. Just gives me an indication of where they end on the bottom of the page. Um, I may as well put this in too. The little mustache has got curly coos on it. Um, and I'm going to put his hat in too. You can um, make this hat any way you want. If you want a real tight curl in it, you can do that. Make it as big or little. Okay, and I'll put his mitt in. I'm thinking of putting his the tree in differently, and this is going to be raised here, I think. Except for the tree. Tree, I think I will paint. And the snow is here. House I'm going to put in. With cardboard, I think. I think that's all I need. Okay. So I can take that off now. So... Now we can, whatever color you chose for your gown or whatever it is, cloak, <laughs> um, pick a color that matches it that's a bit darker than your main um, color. Um, kind of a mid-tone, so a few um, tones down into the darker color. So this is a kind of a goldish color, so more on the browns. I can use probably a brown. Maybe gold. Okay, 
golden brown I'm going to use to do uh, some shading on the, the cloak. I get, I'll bring you guys in a little bit. Don't have to be so far away. There. And I'm going to need some um, skin tone. Santa's usually got a little bit of a tan because he's out in the snow light. Gives you a tan. So kind of a peachy color. Dusty rose or let's see what, what do we got here. Highlight flesh will work too. Um, or medium flesh. These are by Delta or um, Americana. Dusty Rose will work. This one's um, Highlight uh, Flesh. And this one's Medium Flesh. So whatever color you've got similar to that will work. Um, I'll start off with the lighter colors. You could also put a little bit of um, just a tad of orange with a little bit of uh, like gold and then white. You kind of have to play with it because I don't know what um, pigments are in your colors. So just play with it. See what colors you can find. Let's see. So this is the light flesh color. And I'm just going to color this in a little bit. Try and stay away from the inside of the, of the eyes. Um, you might have to repaint or redraw the nose in again, but it's fairly easy, so I don't think you have to line it up again. Just um, hand draw it. It's just the uh, side um, wings of the nose that you'd have to put in. And then we'll just add a little bit of rosiness to the cheeks and we're good. Now you could probably have done this before you cut it out. Might have been the easier, and then you don't have to worry about going over the edge of the paper. Okay, just let it dry and then you might need to put another coat on. But let it dry first. And then a little bit of, of white or buff. Or 
cream would be good too. Let's see if I have cream. I've got some cream here instead of white. And you can go in with that for the eyes if you want. And then we'll we'll draw the eyes back in. Probably do a lot quite a bit of um, work in colored pencil for his um, eyes in that because it's too small to paint. So his lip will need a little bit. He could probably put a little bit of red, or well, we could do um, those areas. So as that's drying, I'm just going to go in and shade those areas along the side of his um, body. Uh, so I want a flat brush. So that's kind of flared. I want something that's got a good j uh, chisel to it and not too um, stiff. So see it's got a nice chiseled edge. This is a half inch flat. So I want to wet it, dip a corner in that golden brown color, and then what I do, so I got my paint on my brush, and then you just go back and forth to load your brush. But you only want half your brush to have that color on it. And then the side that has the paint on it is the side, goes along the side of the um, body. And you just put in a I'm just going to remove some of this because I didn't put any matte medium on top and I should have. So it's a little bit darker. So I think I'm going to get some matte medium out and do that right now. Where did I put it? So it's a little darker than it should have been because that paper just sucked it right up. <laughs> that's, a, that's why I normally got distracted, I guess, coat my paper with matte medium. Because it makes it so much easier to do floats of color on paper when it's got a matte medium on it. It just glides then. I'm gonna may as well just do his hat while I'm at it. His whiskers, anything that's going to be painted. There. Alright, we'll just give that a shot of heat and dry it up. Brenda.
See the bots are back. All right, now I can use that on my brush again. And just uh, put some under his arm, although it's going to be covered, but I'm going to do that anyways. And along his body here. A lot of this will be covered with other things like his beard and whatnot. But we got to do that first. In here and along the cuff. Like that. And I'm going to put some down here side of his and I know where those um, the beard is going to go so I'm going to put a little bit in here and the beard is going to be raised over that part but I just want a little bit of shadow in there oh, that's okay I got him no worries. All right. So now I'm going to just give a little bit more on the face. Just to... A little bit more coat is needed, I think, here and there. It's pretty good, but I just want a little bit around his eye. Make it a little bit smoother looking. Okay. So now we're going to see it. Well, should we do them in I think we'll do a little bit of shading. So he's going to kind of have rosy cheeks a bit. So I'm going to make up a little bit of pink. This is a coral color. Let's see if it's any good. It's not be any good. Nope, I don't think it is. I'll throw that one out. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to take some mauve. And, and lighten it with a little bit of the light flesh to make a little bit of um, a lighter color. So, a little bit of this. And if you have a fairly small flat, we can do the same thing. Let's see what I got here. I know I bought all kinds of brushes, and I don't know where I put them. There's a nice flat one. Okay, so this is a... Uh, doesn't say, is that a quarter? Number, number four, I guess. And I'm just going to load up one side of my brush. And he's going to have 
along the side of his face here, just uh, uh, be below his eye, on the side of his face is going to be darker. That's too much on that brush. While it's wet, you can still take it off or walk it out a little bit. need me to come in more I think I'll bring you guys right in so you can see what I'm doing here paper towels very very slight but it makes a difference and then his nose is going to be darker along the inside edge so I'm just taking some of that a little bit darker combination I don't want it black or anything but you want it fairly dark and look at your reference photo and there's just kind of a line right there and right Oh, about here, I guess. Judge it from your photo. And then the bottom of his nose is very, very um, red or dark, shadowed more. I just take a little bit of, of, of a damp brush and I just clean up the edges so they're not too um, harsh. And then you can take a little bit more of that lighter shade. Just go on. A little bit of buff add to that. And then I'm going to take some of that flesh color again. Go into the center again. Now if it's starting to feel like it's dragging Stay away from it because you have to wait now to um, let it dry or you'll remove the paint you just put on it. Um, right in the corners of the eye would have a little bit of this color. And the um, around the bridge of his eyebrow on the inside of it. You could use a finer brush if you want. And then just at the very tip of the brim, put a little bit underneath that. 
I'm going to do his lip to this color. And now I'm going to take some of that. Did I bring the lighter one or not? Oh, we'll take this light ivory, I think. No, it's buttercream, they call it. And just at the top of his nose, you can put a little mark. And on his cheeks, a little bit of highlight there. Not much, just a bit. She spins. Good to see you. All right, now, while that's drying, what are we going to do with his beard? I've been kind of pondering about it. You could actually just put a bunch of... Um, what do they call it? Um, molding paste and use a pin or something and make those loops with that. It will take a while to dry. Um, but that's fine. Or you could take uh, wool and do a bunch of curly cues. That'd be cute too. You can even take this is just Kleenex and do a bunch of wrapping and uh, make a bunch of these <laughs> like there's so many ways there's so many ways of doing this let's see um, I'm just gonna take a strip I'm just gonna twist it And then you can just make a little curly Q thing. Get some matte medium. This may take a while. <laughs> Hopefully I get it done. I've got my grandkids coming over. We're gonna make some cookies. Keep twirling it. little on there so it doesn't come up. Like that. <laughs> it's cute. Start from the bottom too when you're doing this. It's easier. Just keep twirling. I guess I sh well, I didn't know what I was going to use. So if I had known I was going to do this, I would have made a bunch of these up ahead of time. <laughs> and then just put, keep putting them on 
I'm doing the the outer edge first. Got to make sure it's curled enough. Aren't I lucky? Why are you lucky? Dot, what's going on? My Santa looks like he has been burning the... Well, yeah, he has. A little Kleenex beard. <laughs> Let's do this one now. They don't have to be all long. Make them short because we're going to layer. Hmm. There's a way of tearing Kleenex apparently. <laughs> That's right, Brenda. It's close to uh, Christmas and it's just like on overtime. Poor little elves are getting grumpy. <laughs> Mrs. Claus is kind of fed up baking all those cookies. Jilly, good to see you. We're making a mixed media Santa. I'm going to put, let's see, I'm just looking at my thing here, another one there. And I, I'm going to go up to here. Some more on this side. Let's 
Yes, her Santa probably does look fantastic. Okay, let's put one in here. I'm going to overlap also, so I'm going to have one in here. And remember, we're putting on the mitt and the um, sleeve separately. I'm going to have to cut some of the pieces along his mouth, but that's fine. Some more on the other side. These are cute. So everybody's got Kleenex so, or paper towel, whatever you have. I'm just going to make some swirls now and I'm just going to place them here and there on top. Can you explain again how you are using the Kleenex? Okay, I'm just um, twisting it. So I just ripped a strip. I'm just twisting it. And then you take the end after you've twisted it and you start making a little curly cue. So you keep rolling it on itself into a spiral. See? And then take some matte medium. And then you just place it down on the matte medium. And I just tear it. So you make as many or as few as you want. You could do it with wool too, if you have wool. That'd be cute. Paper towels. Mm. Crepe paper. And I just, I started around the, the edge 
outer edge of the beard and then worked inward. Okay, now I'm going to clip a little bit off his, away from his mouth. So I didn't glue right to, you know, on the mouth part. Because I want to be able to see his mouth. So. this part off. That. And then same with his mustache. You'll just, uh, there is a directional tear for Kleenex, so you'll just have to find that. You just keep twirling. <laughs> you could do this with raffia too, if you have raffia, or tissue paper. Any paper will do. Do his mustache. It's best to use um, gel medium though, I find. Just sticks a little easier. You're kind of making, um, let's see, kind of looks like um, cinnamon buns. <laughs> and just tear to his mouth. I have to. Sure, the nose is showing and the mouth is showing. Cut that a little bit. Where did I put my scissors? Oh, there they are. It's gooey, <laughs> but it's fun. So that's good. So now we'll let that dry. Okay. And now I can put his other sleeve on. Um, now I want him to have mitts too. So I think mitts should I do? Um, I think I'm going to give them a 
bread mitts. Okay, uh, did I cut those out? Where did I put them? I hope I did. Oh, there's the sleeve. So the sleeve can. Where did that go? Like that. So the sleeve goes like that. So I'll have to put some more shading on there. Um, actually, I think I have some felt mitts. Where did I put those? can't find them. I showed them last week. They're probably around the desk somewhere. Um, where did I put those? They were so cute. They'd be perfect size. I didn't know when I'd, I wouldn't find them now. <laughs> oh well. We will have to cut out something else. So, a little piece of, uh, red paper, if I can find some. Just cut a little mitt. Uh, hey, Peggy. Oh, thanks. Merry Christmas to you and a really fantastic new year. I don't think I have sticking out, or did I?
And we can just put it in like that. More matte medium. so that it sticks down properly. I guess I better cut out another one. Let's see. that and then I'm gonna shade the sleeve again so a little bit of that golden brown again swipe back and forth it's only on one tip so it'll be on the bottom edge And a little bit on the top part of the sleeve. The sleeve, I'm going to put something different. Uh, you could if you if if you want to try it. Let's see if I have any pieces here small enough. This will roll it. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't need a whole lot, that's for sure. Let's see. You can have bushy eyebrows, <laughs> Santa. Right. Oh, I lost one. Where'd it go? <laughs> I lost his other eyebrow. Where'd he go? Probably blew away. <laughs> I'll take a little smidge off another one. They don't have to be very uh, big. <laughs> Let's see.
There we go. Just for you, Devin. <laughs> yeah, they would be. All right. Now the hat, I think I will paint. So I'm going to use some... This is the bronze. I'm going to use this bronze one and I'm going to paint it first in the uh, cream color just to get rid of the blue. And I'm going to do the fur part too. Now you can do the fur part in Kleenex if you wanted to or you could do it in something totally different. You could do it in washi tape. That'd be cute. Uh, because I'm going to paint over this, I don't have to have it too um, thick. Hey, Kim. Now, gold. I think I'm going to make sure there's not a lot of water in your brush. I'm going to just do lines of gold. And then I think mm, maybe I'll do red first, actually. I'm going to make his hat red. It's almost that color of mauve, though. Maybe I'll do that, that mauve color.
you could probably do this with um, Posca's too. touch up the edges a little. I'm going to use a smaller brush. Go. And then take that gold and where did I put it? And go over top. If you had a striped paper, you could probably use that too. Doesn't have to be matchy matchy. Concentrating. <sighs> yeah, it's cute. So it doesn't match his cloak or whatever it is he's wearing.
think it looks cute. A little bit of glitter. You could put, um, oh, just thought of something. You could actually do embossing. That would look cool. Gold embossed. That'd be pretty. I do with his sleeves. Sleeves in his hat. I think I might do them also in actually I have some of that fuzzy wool stuff. this stuff. I just find a white piece and or cream and I could just use that. That would look cool. Let's see what we can do. Shall it be white or cream? Hmm, let's see. So I'll just glue that on, like that, and on his hat. I think I like the white. So, let's see. Do that on here. Get your matte medium out again. Still working on the beard. <laughs> yeah, beard takes a little bit doing. Enjoy it. Just to have fun with it. Enjoy doing it. That's what I like the most is you enjoy just creating. Okay, where did I just put it? <laughs> Jeez. Small pieces. I just lost it. Okay. Are you looking at it somewhere? Nope. I think it probably fell somewhere. Well, I'm not hunting for it, so I'll cut another one. All right. So I don't have to do any more painting on it, so that's good. And this one here. hat. That. And then the hat I want white too. So let's find another piece here. So whatever you've got, you can put on yours. I could sprinkle, 
sparkles on it too. Oops, I just let's put this away. That's it. I think I just got something on there. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna have to put something over that now. <laughs> Right. Now this little tree in the background I'm going to do. So I'm going to get some pine green. This is just going to be simple tree, so some of the pine green, some of that. Nothing special about this one. I just mixed a bit of, um, what do you call it, buttermilk in with the green. Just take it down a little further than what it needs to be, just in case. And I think I'm going to put one here since I goofed up that area. We'll just put another tree in, cover the mistake. So a little green, dark green, a little of the, of the, um, buttermilk. Oh, sorry guys, I'm out of, let me bring you out a little bit. So now he's going to have snow behind him. Um, if you know, if you remember what the uh, where to go. There's snow on the bottom here. So I'm just going to take some white. You can use gesso if you want. And a little bit of cobalt blue or purple will do too. Purple smoke, that should do. Just to, I don't want the snow white white. You want it a little bit on the blue side, but not a huge amount. So I'm just going to put some of that purpley blue. Mix some of that white with it. Mix kind of a lighter, light mauvey color. And I'm just going to, I'm going to go past Then you take your white white 
and you can put in um, oh that's weird dot huh I don't know got a beautiful bouquet then you can just add some highlights here and there where you think there would be some and if you want to put a little bit on the trees you can do that just a few dots here and there doesn't have to be photo realistic or anything little few patches and let's dry that So now what I want to do is put the house and the little uh, picket fence on. Now I know there is a die that people have for the picket fence. You could use that. I'm going to use um, probably cardboard and just cut it out. Now I'm going to layer it. So actually this part here behind. I could paint on. Let's see. Get a brown. We had that brown out. Um, nice dark brown would do. We had uh, approximately right here. That's too watery. What's wrong with that paint? What happens when you don't use your paint? Goes bad. I got a here. That's better. So I'm just going to go Now I'll get my cardboard
All right. I'll just put this aside for a minute. Take this and my tracing paper. And I'm just going to trace over the birdhouse. Because I want it um, sticking out. And the little picket fence. And this. So I, I think I'm going to have a couple layers on this house. We'll see how difficult it is, but that's the plan. I might end up drawing that on. Mm. Yeah, maybe I'll paint that and that. I'm going to cut the door out and the windows. So we'll draw that later. Okay. I could actually just leave it the color of the uh, Cardboard would be cool. Actually, this would be awesome too. Just the ridge as part. I wonder if that would work. Let me see. Yeah, that might be cool. rustic. That works really good. All right. That. Okay. So, you just have to cut the tops to make them into a picket. That's cool. They don't have to be all the same size. Folk art. It's always uh, very... Um, the perspective is usually totally off. <laughs> which makes it so cute. A bit of it. I should be using my... Just put some matte medium, or not matte medium, uh, gel medium on. Let's see. There's that thing. Okay, there was one real close to it. May not need all of them. That's okay. They can be crooked too. Sometimes they look cuter if they are. Now the house, where did they put it?
I just got an idea. <laughs> See, this is what I mean. I never plan for mixed media stuff very much. I got an idea, but not a for sure plan. Because I, I think of things while I'm doing it. So a lot of times it's fun to just um, go do it as you go. and no gone to work. Hmm. So that will go like that. I can paint this one though. Um, and then I'm going to take a knife and just cut out these little windows. I can just remove the inside corrugated part of the cardboard, but the backing's still on, which is cool. I could actually paint the inside of that a little darker. And need a little bit of gel medium to get that to lay down a little bit. Coming up. That's okay. Here. So it's 3D. Then I can take a marker. Brown marker. And do that um, design on the top of the house. So it was and then down that. And then I'm going to take another piece of this corrugated stuff, the innards, and put it along the top of the roof. So Not the long way, but the sideways. That way, kind of looks like shingles. Or 
um, a clay roof. And I can just glue it on. with some more matte medium. And then just cut the excess off. Here, I think about the other one. I keep losing stuff. Oh, there it is. Like that. Oh, I think I'm going to make those darker. It was the wrong brown. That's easy enough to do. Okay, I'm gonna make that darker. It wasn't dark enough. That keeps popping up for some reason. I can put that down now, I guess. And it's going right here. I think I can put a little bit dark paint. Where did I put that? More brown, I guess. Right in here. the roof the same brown like that all right and I think I'm gonna put a little, that continuation of the fence past here like that, and maybe one more. I think I had one more cut out, but I don't see it around anywhere. So I'll cut one out. in it. Put it on. I think it was a little bit smaller, but that's fine. I don't mind it. You can put it up like that. <laughs> sure, tin roof rusted. 
Now I can take, um, if you have gel or, um, actually I could use, make snow on the roof too with the Kleenex. Why not? Little poofs of snow. I keep putting that gel medium away and I shouldn't. <laughs> okay. Let's have some snow on the roof. Kleenex. Although my I contaminated my gel medium. I'm going to put some white on it because it's kind of brown. Not oh, brown snow. Just a little bit of... There. <laughs> he did the eyebrow surgery. <laughs> it's funny. And then let's put some on the bottom make some uh snow up along the fence just use your matte medium to Get it to lie down. A little more, and then it should be good. All right, so as that's drying, let's do the eyes. So I'm going to, if you have a sepia or I guess we could do them in dark. Let's see. Actually, I could probably use this. This is a real light brown. I'm just gonna outline. Put some wrinkles in. The eyes. nose up a little more. And his eyes are going to be blue. Thanks, Lisa. blue eyes.
And black for the pupil. And then you can either put a little charm off the end of his hat or pom pom or I got a little snowflake um, thing button I guess it is that I'm going to use. I got these at Michael's years ago. I'm just going to take the little thing off the back. Get some more matte medium. Make sure you got enough. And there this is a cute little snowman. <laughs> so I, once it's dried completely, then I will um, put it in my file folder book, and I'll show you that on Tuesday probably. Bring it out a little bit. There we go. There. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you give it a chance to do whatever. Use your stuff. And uh, see what you can make out of it. It's a lot of fun. And it just take your time and have a really enjoyable, relaxing, creative time. That's what it's mainly about, is you creating and enjoying yourself. Getting away from all the stress. So I'm going to let you guys go, and you have a fantastic Christmas Day and New Year's Day and the week after. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy your family. And um, thanks for supporting me and helping with this channel. It means a great deal to me. I love doing this and I love sharing and I'm happy to inspire you. So have a blessed day and we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye for now.